Harvard Business Review in January, February issue published an article on uh, three problems that empathy can create for people in the workplace and obviously this can apply to you. All right, so let's think about this. Registered nurses are some of the most empathic people that we know. And I think you just on the surface know what a problem too much empathy can be because it's something you're always having to balance when working with patients. I mean, you know that for example, if you're working with oncology patients, you can't feel everything the patient feels or everything that the family member feels or you will be a basket case and not be able to perform your job. So we know that empathy, too much of it, can actually hurt performance in the workplace. Okay, so there's three problems according to this research study with empathy. And I think it applies to attorneys too, just like it applies with patients. All right, so problem number one, empathy is exhausting and can lead to burnout. So, you know, attorneys, a lot of times they're crazy busy. So some of them, if they don't manage themselves properly, can be kind of crisis oriented. I need that report yesterday and suddenly their crisis becomes your crisis. Of all the attorneys I worked with, one of the attorneys that was the most demanding in terms of needing everything yesterday uh, actually was an attorney who only called me twice a year. But yet to try and be responsive to him was exhausting because I'm managing 10 and 20 cases with other attorney clients and I mean that's 10 per client 20 per client so you know something's gonna give you're exhausted here because you're pulling an all-nighter there's only so many all-nighters you can pull and then is your mind gonna be fresh when you're working on an important case for this attorney who's constantly sending you cases so you have gotta be careful that you manage that empathy for these overly demanding but unreasonable attorney clients. Problem number two, empathy is a zero-sum effort ultimately depleting itself. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, we all have only so much empathy to give, even the most empathic of us. And again, you know, as registered nurses, we do have a lot to give. But think about if you're working a 12 hour shift at the hospital and you come home and you just got finished having dinner with your spouse and your spouse says, oh honey, you know, I, I had a bad day at work and I feel like I'm coming down with a cold and, and I might even be getting a little bit of fever. What's your reaction? Is it empathy or is it, is it more like, excuse me, you're not on a ventilator, buck up help clean the kitchen. Why did you react that way? Because your empathy got depleted. You know, you're out of it. You, you pass it all out during the day on your 12 hour shift. The same can apply to attorneys. In other words, you give all your energy and empathy to the wrong attorney, then when you need it for the right attorneys, the attorneys who are sending you a lot of cases, keeping you busy, it just may be that you don't have the proper empathy when you really need it. Problem number three, empathy can erode ethics. Okay, what do I mean by this? Well, we start working with these attorneys and we get tight with them, you know, we, we have good relationships with them and we want them to win. That's gonna be all of us, you know, we want to be on the winning side. So you're working with a plaintiff attorney or you're working with a defense attorney. Too much empathy can actually cause you to erode your ethics. What do I mean by that? Well, your judgment of the case, your analysis of the case is clouded by how you feel about that attorney, by your empathy, by your empathy for the client. And so you start being less objective 
And remember, our job is to give the attorney the good to help them win the case, but we've also got to give them the bad and the ugly because that's what they need. They're not going to win the case if we just give them the good stuff. So in summary, attorneys love you because you are empathic. At the same time though, make sure, do a little empathy check every day, a little reality check. Am I giving empathy to the right attorney clients? Am I giving too much to one attorney and not enough to some of my others? Am I letting my empathy for the people that I'm working with and the clients that I'm surrounded by cloud my judgment? These are questions you're gonna to wanna to ask. 